So it's been super, super windy for like the past week, week and a half. I still think the water might be a little bit murky out here, just medium visibility, but we're about to find out. I just got a new uh, freezer for sushi or sashimi meat. So I'm gonna be extra selective today on what sort of fish that I actually shoot. I'm going for something that's gonna taste really good raw like that. So anyways, let's get out there and check it out. All right, so we're back here in my kitchen. I've got this island jack, this yellow spot here. Was really fun to get out there and shoot it. The second I shot it, I swam it back, put it in my cooler, because I want to get this meat as cold as possible, as soon as possible. I'm going to make some sushi out of this. Anytime you're making sushi or ceviche or anything like that with raw fish, especially if you're gonna serve it to your friends and family, you do wanna sort of freeze it for a few days just to make sure that anything bad in it can be killed. So this one here, it's a great size. It's gonna make a lot of sushi, I think. I've never made sushi with a uh, uwua, papio, milu, any sort of jack before. I'm excited to see how it tastes. I'm expecting it to be pretty good. These fish are typically uh, sort of a neutral tasting fish. This one's actually especially good. The yellow spot actually has a bit more oily meat to it. So it can add some good flavor. And so let's cut it up and see how it goes. Oh yeah, I've got basically all the meat off this. I got real close to the bones. These uh, bubble blades are awesome. Uh, what I'm gonna do is clean up this filet because we aren't making sushi out of it. I'm gonna cut off any of the bloody areas and get it really nice and clean for freezing. Yeah, so these fillets are looking really, really good. I am really happy how this turned out. The, uh, they look super clean. I took off any of the red spots and stuff. So I did have this fish in, the, in, the, uh, in my cooler and I stuck it in my fridge the second I got home. So they are still really cold throughout this whole process, which I wanted. You know, you don't want bacteria to grow on the meat while it's raw. So that's really important. So these things are still cold to the touch. I'm gonna wrap them in saran wrap, stick them in my freezer, and I can't wait to try them in a few days. It 
So I'm just throwing these fillets into the saran wrap. I'm trying to, you know, wrap them as tightly as possible so there's no air in there. I'm not seeing much moisture, which is really good. I know, like I read online, that if you make sushi and you freeze the fish, any water that's in the fish's, uh, you know, flesh and stuff actually will expand when it starts to freeze. And it'll sort of wreck the meat. So these things, I kept them super dry and uh, they're looking good. Uh, this is a freezer I got on Amazon. It's like a cheap medical freezer, they call it. Uh, it's also like a sushi grade freezer. So it's gonna actually keep the meat at negative 35 degrees Fahrenheit for as long as I need it to, which is super, super cold. And once the meat's ready for sushi, I'll pull it out and uh, prepare it. So I've got five main types of veggies here for my sushi. I've got cucumber, sweet potato, mango, avocado, and daikon, which is radish. So my fish came out of the freezer yesterday and I stuck it in the fridge. It's been thawing out from being rock solid, like negative 35 degrees Fahrenheit cold. Uh, it's totally soft now, so it's ready to go. I've got my veggies here. I'm gonna try putting in some different sushi rolls and I'll dice these up and then combine them. I'm not sure if daikon needs to be cooked or not, but it is a radish, so I'm guessing I just cut it real, real thin. I know I've got to cook the uh, sweet potato for a few minutes or really quickly on the stove top. You know, I'm cutting everything's really nice and long so that when I put it inside of a sushi roll, hopefully I only have to put, you know, one of each item. Man, if a sushi chef ever sees this video, they're probably gonna be cringing. I have no idea how to cut these things up. I'm just cutting them whatever way I can get the meat off the, the mango and the other fruit. So hopefully it turns out. The last ingredient that I have is radish sprouts. I haven't tried this in sushi before. I just saw it at the grocery store when I was there. So I thought I'd try it out. So I've got the vegetables prepared here and next up, fish. So this is the fish. I just pulled it out of the fridge. It was in the freezer for a couple of days. And I mean, this fish, there is zero fishy smell to it whatsoever. All right, so I'm going for the first taste here. I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce on it. We'll show you. Tastes really good, very mild. Um, no fishy taste. The texture was actually perfect. This is just like a sushi restaurant. As you can sort of see, I'm doing some really thin pieces. These can be like sashimi, and then I might try doing a few uh, for like, uh, is it called nigiri or whatever it is, like there's sashimi, sushi, and so forth. So I'm gonna do it two or three different ways and then I'll do a few different types of rolls as well. So I think that's a good amount of meat to start with. I don't wanna cut it all up right now until I know what I'm sort of doing with it. So let's see how far this goes and then I'll cut more if I need it. Man, the second that rice hits the seaweed, it instantly starts smelling like sushi. The first sushi roll of the evening. This is avocado, mango, and island jack.
All right, I finished up these sushi rolls. I'm gonna slice them up. I've got the sashimi here, some nigiri sushi here. I've also got some wasabi and the ginger, pickled ginger, and uh, we're gonna try it all out. Finish this awesome platter of sushi, about to dig in. Thanks for watching another episode of Awesome Blue. Please hit the subscribe, like, and ring the bell buttons, and see you on the next one. All right, going in for the first piece. Man, that is so, so good. I'm gonna be on the lookout for these Island Jack. That fish is really good. Going in for a piece of sashimi here. Man, that fish like melts in your mouth. It actually has got a tiny bit of sweetness to the fish. It's really, really good. Let's go. Watch a video. Let's play Chanel on the side.